Tena sana. <laughs> Ni siku ya pili sasa washukiwa mauaji ya halaiki yaliyotekelezwa katika msitu wa Shakahola wanapokea matibabu baada ya washukiwa hao wa mauaji ya halaiki katika kaunti ya Kilifi kwa sili mahakama ya Mombasa wakiwa wamedhoofika kiafya baada ya washukiwa hao kususia kula na kunywa kwa muda hivyo kwa lazima polisi kuwasaidia kufika mahakamani hii ni baada ya hakimu mkuu wa mahakama hiyo Alex Tuku kuamrishwa wapelekwe hospitalini ili kudumisha afya zao kabla ya kusikilizwa tena kwa kesi hiyo I saw the accused persons uh, this morning in our basement cells. Some can barely stand or open their eyes. As a matter of urgency, I order that uh, they be escorted to a medical facility where they will be examined and their health needs attended to. Kesi hiyo imeratibiwa kusikilizwa tena mwezi Machi tarehe 5 mwaka huu ambapo ombi la kuachiliwa kwa dhamana litasikilizwa. We mentioned this matter on 5th of March. 2024 when the reports above will be filed or will have been filed and a ruling date will be given the accused persons attendance is hereby dispensed with counsel to appear virtually kwa upande wa wakili wa mhubiri tata Paul Mackenzie wakiongozwa na Wycliffe Wakasembo amewataka washukiwa hao kuachiliwa kwa dhamana akisema kuwa washukiwa hao wana haki ya kutekeleza uhuru wao wa kuabudu Your know, article 32 Constitution of Kenya 2010 allows freedom of worship and you as a magistrate is mandated to protect that right to watch the state abuses against freedom of religion the bail and bond guidelines of 2015 the bail and bond guidelines of 2015 buttress or cement The main reason why bail and bond is allowed and your honor we submit that that is to give an opportunity of the accused person to attend court while becoming a productive member of the society. The country is suffering economically because these other 95 people cannot be productive members of the society. They're not paying their taxes. Melanie Sini alluded to the correct thing that they were farmers they buy things now we see the way the dollar is even suffering the, the dollar is trying to gain against the shilling you honor if we had these people out there contributing to the economy while defending their names because you honor let it not be lost they are innocent until proven guilty Makenzi amekuwa kizuizini tangu Aprili 14 mwaka 2023 siku moja baada ya kugunduliwa kwa waathiriwa wa kwanza katika msitu wa Shakahola ambako waumini wa kanisa lake la The Good News International walikusanyika ambao aliwahubiria kufunga hadi kufa kwa madai ya kukutana na Yesu kabla ya mwisho wa dunia. Nikiripotia runinga ya Alshifa mimi ni Fahima Ramadhan.